What's going on? What? Is she going to be okay? Nurse! Nurse! Lee, will she be alright? Uh, please now, find her position. <laughs> Take her post rate. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Her post rate is 110. Her fee saturation is 92. Must give her a direct post rate. Alright. Post rate is 82. Her fee saturation is 98. That's fine. Bring up and bring up and move. Don't you need to be there, okay? At least we work. Alright. Watch your look up now. Ready and your ride is waiting. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, yeah. You good to go? Shall we? Yeah. I'm going down. Here. I'm sorry things went the way they went, okay? I am really, really sorry. Well, I, I just wish that you and I could... Go on, Philip. You wish what? That you never left me? Or that you're not about to marry another woman barely three months after breaking up with me? I'm sorry about everything. Please just take care of yourself. Philip, I need to see you. What? Listen, you can't see me, alright? I'm on my way to church. I'm running late. Sumter is waiting for me at a church. You, you can't see me. I'm late. Well, Sumter can wait. I waited for you for six years. So she can wait forever. Naomi, Naomi, stop, all right? I can't do this. Not now. Please. I'm sorry, I have to go. Wait, wait, Philip, wait. <laughs> I love it so much. I don't know how to forget, but I love it. Ah, I put you to it's very simple. Really? It's not as complicated as it looks. You know, it looks complicated. Really, like, yeah. Oh, a lot of work had gone into it. You know, Hello. Here's the name. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Would you like to have a chef special for today? It's a combination of food. Yeah, what we would like to do is order our own meals. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, ma. I didn't mean to. It's okay. You can go. Um, that was unnecessary. What do you mean that was unnecessary? She was, was totally flirting with you. She wasn't flirting with me. She was being nice, customer service. Oh, she was being too nice. Way too nice. And why are we even having this conversation? Why is she an issue? Exactly. I should be asking you, why is it an issue? Why are you talking about it? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Yeah, what is wrong with you? Whoa. Yes, what, what is, what is wrong? Yeah, what, what is wrong with you? What? Gosh, Philip, you're unbelievable. You know what? Enjoy your Naomi, Naomi, you're not going to do this. Look, believe me, I totally understand how you feel. But now is not the best time for all these thoughts. And as your best man, it's my duty to get you safely to that church to your bride. Get you married, man. Right, I am getting married, so let's just do it, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Philip.
but it's right in front. Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Where's my money? Shop, shop, I beg, I beg, I beg. Where's money for you? What's up, babe? Greetings. Shop. Shop. Like, is it complete? Are you sure? Alright, I don't deal with that. I checked that money. Check out, check out, check out, check out. I don't know it's complete. I'm upset it's complete. I don't deal with my money. I will fuck you up, but it's not complete. What's up? Let's go. Okay, see. So what next? This was your idea. I don't know. I haven't thought that far yet. You know what, guys? I need inspiration. I need to start thinking straight. What? What is that? I brought this especially for this operation. Please put that back inside before you run mad. <sighs> okay. So, what's the plan? You are the one with the brains. How about you take up the thinking from here? Are you being serious? Okay, 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 okay guys, just calm down, okay? Let's just calm down. I think we should just wait for Philip to wake up and then we take it from there. So then they will know we've actually not thought about this till the end, right? Okay. That's true. We have a point. You know what? I'll go check up on Philip, okay? He said, why don't you check up on Bamidemi? Okay. Yeah, let me check up on Philip and make sure he's fine. What? Look, this is actually a romantic getaway. Love doesn't jump like that. What? Just grab it. I'm going to check up on Bamidemi. Why don't you kiss him while you're there? I just might. Why, Philip? Why do you have to do this to us? What does she have that I don't? What? I know you love me. I know it. I can feel it. So you can't tell me you don't love me. How can a love so real fade so fast? 
Is it something I did? Tell me if it's something we can fix. Let's just fix it, please. Talk to me. What have you done, Naomi? I'm supposed to be getting married. I know, I know. But to the wrong bride. I'm supposed to be your bride. Me. Not her. How did you know where to find me? I called you, remember? That's the reason you called me? Yes. I wanted to know at the exact time you were heading out and tried to talk you out of this foolishness. Alright, you know what, just uh, on time, okay? On time, yeah, let's, let's talk about this. Really? Yes. Oh la la. What are you looking at? You like what you see, right? So you realize you made a mistake, right? Yes, I know, I know. But on time you right now. Call off the guys with the cons and I will make this right, I promise you. Are you sure? Just on time, okay? I will make it I'll make it up to you. Okay. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Huh? You like me? <laughs> Welcome to the greatest. Mommy! 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 What's going on here? Oh, you guys could have gotten here sooner. He could have killed me. You're welcome, see. Girl, you just don't believe it. Not now, not now. Billy. You know you could have known me. I thought we were friends. Look, now. See, I'm so sorry for everything. But can we just talk about this like two adults? Please. Shut up! Talking time is over! I'll kick your ass! It's fine, Sid. You wanna talk? Let's talk. Like adults. Don't get soft. It might even be traffic. Uh, baby, he, he, maybe he's stuck in traffic. Eh? Yeah. You, you know how this Lagos traffic? The other day, me and no, your mother... Nico, eh? this is not the time for all this. You can see that she's upset. Eh? This is not the time for your stories. Oh, he's not coming. He's coming. He's okay. It's okay. He was supposed to be here two hours ago. Don't say negative things. Be positive. He's coming. I know Philip. He's never late for anything. How much more his own wedding? Ah, he can, he cannot do this. His mind. He cannot do this to me. Calm down. I mean, he cannot do it. So calm down. He's coming. Eh? I mean, he can not disgrace me and my family. He cannot do this. He can't. He already has. He has made us a laughing stock. No. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. I can't. I, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm going to kill myself. No, no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He's coming. Listen. If anything happens to my baby, I am going to tear that man into shreds. I'm going to tear him to shreds. Calm is going down. People, does anybody have the, the best mass number? No number is going through. Is Oh, he will come. He's coming. He's coming. Uh, don't calm down. Me. Uh. 
trying to escape, I see. <sighs> Lola, why? Really, why are you doing this? Why are you helping Naomi carry out this foolishness? You are the smart one. Please, all please. Of you. you don't have to. Don't, don't do that with me, Philip. Don't do that. Save it for Naomi. Save what for Naomi? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even have time for this. Look around, Philip. What? Men with guns everywhere. You're going to be here for a very long time. I, I won't be here for a long time. I don't, I, what are you talking about? Look, get me out of here, okay? Get me out of here. I, I don't, I, I don't, look, I don't know what you're thinking, all right? <laughs> but you're not going to go scot free. <laughs> you are not going to go scot free. No, you won't. Look at me. I'm so scared. Oh, my God. You are a very, very selfish and stupid man, Philip. I don't even know why it took Naomi so long to realize it. Douchebag. Douchebag. Really? So your friend cheats on me and is about to marry the same woman he cheats on me with. And somehow, I'm to blame for it. How typical. That is not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Because from where I stand, all I see is a man supporting another man in the crucifixion of a woman. All I'm saying is that your approach to things sometimes is not the best. You act crazy and that can actually... I act crazy. <laughs> yeah, of course I act crazy. I act crazy because Philip drives me crazy. No, Naomi, you are to blame. No one is responsible for your actions in this life except you. No one has that power. <sighs> You know what? You're right. I'm solely responsible for my actions. Yes. Which is exactly why I know what to do. Now, what, what are you going to do? You find out soon enough. Na Naomi! Naomi, don't do whatever you're going to do better this life. I'm telling you. Naomi! Go to the kitchen. Naomi, please! Talk about our lives for uh her. -huh. What, what, what about what, 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 what life? The life we had before she came. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that movie was amazing. Did you see the end part where, she, even though she was dying? Yeah. Oh god, I particularly loved. How she held him, mm. looked deep into his eyes, mm -hmm. and whispered, I love you. I love you. That was, come on, I wasn't talking to you. You were talking to me. No, I wasn't. You know I love you. Hmm? Of course I do. You know, Diane's character reminds me a whole lot about you. Really? How she loves him. How she stands by him through thick and thin. How she will die for him. Take a bullet for him. Stand by him through thick and thin, just like you stand by me through thick and thin. Come here. I need you to promise me, Naomi, that you will never leave me. I promise. 
I'm not going anywhere. Promise me again that you would always love me. Always, always and forever love you, too. Thank you, baby. Did you ever mean those words? Or were they just mere words to you? I meant everything I said to you, Naomi. I love you. I love you with all of my heart. Then what happened? What happened to that love? You didn't just go from loving someone this minute and then stop loving them the next. It doesn't work that way, at least not with me. I'm sorry. What? I said I'm sorry. What exactly are you sorry for? For the way I treated you, the way I handled things. Looking back now, I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that I could have handled things differently. Yeah, you could have. But you didn't. You didn't, Philip. You did this to us. You betrayed our love. You betrayed me. For her? Why? You really want to know why? Yes. Yes, I want to know. Tell me. Why? Okay. See, Phil, I don't know why you want to suffer yourself. China will beat this people. Beat what? <laughs> ah, not possible. See, that's an African girl. That's right back. Yeah. Once she overlaps. Once she overlaps and throws in a cross from the wing. That Chinese, that Chinese defense will be in this array. This one, this one, I'm falling anyhow on the floor. Yeah, you know, this is just being an African man. You're supporting. Of course, I have to be patriotic. Yeah, it's not even about patriotism. It's about football. What? Your phone. Hi, Bams. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hi, pick a call now. It's not important, it's nothing. What do you mean it's not important? Answer your call now. Oh, because I'm here, you don't want to answer me. Now, me. Philip. Don't do this. Philip, answer your phone. Don't do this now. Right. Don't do what your phone was ringing. I brought it to you. Answer your call. Babs, can we just sure. go to the police? Oh, so now you want to walk away? Really? I have a guest. Don't do this. I know, Babs. Oh, now me, please. Can you just allow him to call? Babs, this is actually between us. Okay? Oh. Please. Sorry? Oh, oh, you. Yeah. My bad. Please, please Feel out. Let's be outside. Where are you going to? Oh, I'll call her back or whoever she is. You just sit down, trust you. Go on. Did I go ahead and answer it? Okay. We slept off. It's now me. Oh my god. Do you think he has overpowered her? We're supposed to have her back. Calm down, at least. Everything still appears to be normal. Okay. Look, okay. we're just going to go in there and pretend like we've been up all night, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's hmm. go. Hmm. Listen, I'll I'll check on Naomi and Philip. You check on Bami No, I'm not checking on Bami Dele alone today. Why don't you check up on him? Fine. Seed. You check on Philip and Naomi, I'll check on Pam Daily. Okay. Lola, what if he has already overpowered and is just waiting for somebody to come inside? Okay, fine. What exactly do you want? Sid. We'll go check on Philip and Naomi together and then go check on Pam Daily. Fine.
Hello, Philip. Hope you had a good night. Shut up, Sid. Nobody cares if you had a good night. Not now, Lola. I think we should let him go now. What? What? I only wanted him to miss the wedding. And he has. Naomi, can you, can you even hear yourself? Do you realize we could be in so much trouble right now? And all for what? A weekend getaway? See, himself or his friends, they could head straight to the police station and report us. We'll be in serious trouble. Uh, ladies. Okay, okay, so what do you guys propose we do? What? What do we do? Ladies, I'm trying to say this. Outside, now, we need to discuss. Okay, so if I'm not going to let them go, what do you two geniuses suggest we do? Let's just kill them. Just shut up! Killing is not an option. And you, Nola, any brilliant ideas? Naomi, you need to calm down. Okay? We are all in this mess because we're trying to help you. There's no need for you to get cranky. Exactly. You're just trying to help you. Why are you attacking us? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just so confused. I was, I was, I it's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's not your fault that you love him more than he deserves. You love him more than his mother ever did. Calm down. It's okay, Mimi. Listen, Naomi, we're going to find a way to get out of this mess. No. We just need <laughs> Hell is on fire. What? what? What is it? We forgot to check on Ben Dele. Oh, Ben! Oh! He's gone. He's going to kill us. He's going to kill us. No, no. Calm down. I'm sure he's on his way to the police station already. Fuck! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Listen, we need to leave. What do you mean leave? Philip is still here. We can't just leave him. The police are going to come here and find him. We need to leave. Yes, we need to run away now. Thank God he doesn't know our house. Let's go. Philip knows Naomi's house. Oh my God. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, guys. I think you should just go. You should both go now. I'll stay with Philip until the police gets here. Okay? I'll take full responsibility. That way you're both free. No, you have to go. No. We're not going to leave you here, no. No, we are all in this together. We did it together. Exactly. We did the crime together so we can as well do the time together. Oh, wow. Did you notice the rhyme? Yes, we did. We did, Sid. Listen, Naomi. We're here together, okay? Mm -mm. No, I insist. You have to go. Just go. I'll stay with Philip. Here. Take my car keys. Just take it, Lola. Go. For what is what, okay? We'll testify against him in court if you need us to. That would be awesome, Sid. That would be awesome. Just go. Go, go, just go. Take care of yourself, okay? Go, go, you.
Talk to me, what is it? How do you care? Of course you know I care about you. Don't talk like that. Very funny, Philip. Very funny. Who else did you care? Your friend escaped. What? Yes. So he's probably on his way right now with the police. Shut up. Yeah. Shit. You have to go. You have to go. What are you talking about? You have to go. You just have to go. Oh. Naomi, you have to escape. You have to go. You have to go. Oh. I'm serious. You have to go. Oh, okay. Just go, all right? When they get here, I'll tell them you escaped. That's Just go. Aha. Uh -huh. So you bring them straight to my house? Of course you know how to know such things. What's wrong with you? You know what? Just go. When they get here, I'll tell them you got away. And that's it. I won't, I won't press charges. Okay. Just go. Oh. Okay. And the gun. What gun? That one, that one. Just hand it over. Oh. <laughs> this? Yeah. It's not even real. Don't worry, I'll get rid of it on my way. Well, all this time I, I, I thought you had a real gun, not knowing you were holding a toy. And I couldn't get rid of this. I, I thought you girls had, had guns all over the place. And I couldn't take this off. Really? You know what? Just go. Go! Before I change my mind, just go. Go. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing <laughs> No, come on. You know what? Let's just say you are not even now. Okay, so... Go. Escapes. Just pray she escapes and I hope she learns from this and just stop. I'm, I'm alone. I'm, I'm alone. I'm alone, officer. I'm, I'm alone. Where are your doctors? I'm alone. I'm, 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 I'm here alone. I'm here alone. All by myself. Your friend informed me there are three ladies holding you down here for So where are they? Oh, yes. They were, but they're no longer here. They, they are long gone, officer. Please, just help me. I'm back in. Please stop. Get up. Get up, let's go.
Hey. I'm fine. Uh -uh. No, I'm in the house. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I'm at home. I'm home, yes. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Lola, you and Sid are the best sisters anyone could ever ask for. Really, you are. And I'm so grateful for both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I'll see you tomorrow. What did I do to you, Philip? <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really did. I tried. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fair. <laughs> Stop it. You want to do this? You really want us to talk about this? Talk about what now? Soon to come on. Come on, Philip. You don't expect me to believe the cock and bull story you told the police. What cock and bull story? What are you what are you talking about? Just admit it, Philip. You planned your own kidnap. Yes, you didn't want to go through with our wedding. What, you think I set up my own kidnap just so I don't get married to you? Is that what you think? That's exactly what you did, Philip. You embarrassed me and my family in front of everybody. How do you expect me to look at my friends? Hmm? Your friends? Yes, my friends. Is that what you're worried about? Your friends? Yes, Philip. How do you expect me to act in front of them? How do you expect me to even look at them? <laughs> uh... Philip. I know you're just trying to justify all these things. Of course, wear your slippers and walk your way. That's what you're trying to do. I have nothing to prove. You already figured it out yourself. Philip. Philip, where are you going to? Philip. Philip. You know what? It's fine. Just do whatever you want. Go to a house that what makes you happy. Just, just do whatever, really. to have kids within the next one year. <laughs> now she's there dreaming of having kids within the next one year. And her friends are supposed to be jealous of her.
आगे फॉलो चलेंगे I hope you found it, Mohammed. Mm -hmm. No, you're really pushing me, right? You are pushing me. I don't know how much more I can take. Pushing me away from you. She went to see Philip. No, now we wouldn't do that. She won't go back to her for me. That's not possible. <sighs> Lola, Lola, what if they arrested Naomi? Oh. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I have to do that quickly. Naomi. <sighs> Is he ringing? Just calm down. Why are you hiding my phone? What's wrong with you? Yes, hello. What, you have the nerve to call my phone after what you did? What? Why would you think she's here? Listen, I let her go before the police got there, so she's not here. I haven't seen her myself. What's going on? But you have to keep checking. I'm, I'm positive she just might be there. Okay, you know what? I'm on my way to work. I'll probably just drop by and, and see what the situation is. Okay, before I hit the office. All right. All right. What? You let her go? That lunatic ruined our wedding. My wedding almost killed you, and, and you let her go? Sonto, I'm not doing this for you. Not now. No, 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 no. When I return from work, if you still want to talk about it, then we can sit down and talk about it. Not now. Philip, you're not going anywhere. You're definitely not going to see that woman. You are not going. Are you? Are... What? Am I what? Philip, you're not going to see her. You're not leaving this I house. I will go see her. Why not? Yes. Listen to me, Somto. Let this be the last time you touch my phone. This right here is a private effect. Don't touch my phone again. Philip. Do you hear me? Philip, you can't be serious. Somto, do you hear me? Yes. You can't be serious. You're not leaving this house. Philip! Philip!
Naomi. Please, if you are in there, open the door. We just want to make sure you are all right. Yes, please, give it a rest. Philip is here. That bastard. All oh, this is his fault. Please, just calm down. Please. Um, first of all, are you ladies sure that she came home last night? Yes. I spoke until early this morning and I was supposed to take her to the store. Did you bring the key? Oh yes, I If anything happens to Naomi, I'll personally kick your ass! Listen, I don't think we should be making threats now. But after everything that just happened. Right, so just relax. Let's see how we face this. Naomi! 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 Stabilized for now, Doctor. She be all right, Doctor. Can we go and see her? No, 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 no. Um, Mr. Philip, you work with me in my office, please. All right.
He said, Philip. Is in a coma. So what? She lost too much blood, and as a result, her brain is shut down temporarily. And if you hadn't brought her here when you did, she would have died. Why is she going to wake up? Well, it depends. Coma cases vary from individuals, depending on how severe the trauma is. What really happened? Why did she try to kill herself? Huh. Still not picking. No, Mom. I think it's still with her. I told you that that boy is no good for you. Why are you still talking to me? Your father is right, you know. Hmm? If Philip can go back to that girl that kidnapped him on your wedding day, then he's not fit for you, my child. Hmm? That boy has cost me a whole lot of humiliation. Yes. And you will pay for it. Daddy, you're not helping. Both of you are not helping. <laughs> I don't just understand anymore. Philip, what have you done? What have I done? But I ought to myself this time to overreact. But I'll lie down for you. I may miss you. I miss you, Naomi. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can hear me, please come back to me and I promise I will make it up to you. Don't leave me. to me and I'll make it right. Please. Nurse. Yes, doctor. Administer these drugs to her grip. I'll come back to check on her later. Okay. Yeah, you can go. Um, Philip, usually common patients who are traumatized, come out of it within a week to a month. But in this case, it's been three months. So I took the liberty of presenting Naomi's case to some of my doctor friends in India. They have a hypothesis that worked successfully in many cases. Doctor, I, I just want to know, what exactly do we need to, to do to make her come back? Is there something specific that we have to do? I see if you care if she lives or dies. <laughs> Doctor, please continue. I'm listening. Um, in such cases, the patient feels utterly hopeless and feels like he or she doesn't have a reason to leave. 
That's why she tried taking her life in the first place. We may have succeeded in stopping her, but it will take a whole lot more for her to come back. She needs to have a reason to want to live again. A reason to want to live again. Wow. Both of you are the most important people in her life. So she's going to need you if she's to pull through this. <sighs> How should we? I don't know. Well, what did the doctor say? The doctor said that we have to remind her of all the beautiful memories. Whatever she loves, whatever we can say to her to bring her back to life. Oh, Lola. It's all my fault. I blame myself for all this. Lola, she actually called me that night. Listen, Diane, it wasn't your fault. If anyone is to blame here, it's Philip. He betrayed her. Yes, I know, but... I don't know, I was so angry with her. I deliberately didn't pick her call that night. I was so angry, she never took any of my advice. Oh, it's all my fault. No. It's not your fault. You know how your sister gets? She's so stubborn. And once she has an idea in her head, nobody can do anything about it. I even tried talking her out, out of the whole kidnapping thing. She wouldn't listen. So I had to join them. <laughs> That's what friends do, right? <laughs> I know, Lola. I know you've been an awesome friend, and thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I do. She's lucky to have you for a sister. <laughs> That I don't know, but for you, Lola, you are such a good friend. I'm still so angry with myself. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Look at Miles. How is she? Just about when nothing has changed. <sighs> Look, Phil, I think it's time you start going home. I mean, it's been months and you keep sleeping here every night. And that's because Naomi would have done the same for me. If I was in her place, she wouldn't live here. Not for one day. Right, so I'm not going anywhere. Phil, I understand. But just one night, you might just decide to take a break, wouldn't change anything. She won't just wake up. Look at you, Phil. You're just a shadow of yourself. I can tell that day that I choose to take a break, she just might wake up and what? Right. Listen, I know she's going to wake up, but I want to be the first human being she sees when she opens her eyes. Phil, what if she never... I mean, we just have to get used to the fact that she might never wake up. Stop it. She will wake up. All right. She will wake up. She has to wake up. Fine, fine. Oh, have you had something to eat? I haven't had appetite. No, please. Come, we have to get you something to eat. Even if you must remain here, at least you have to eat something. Come, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. what is the problem? 
I'm not comfortable living. Phil, we just want to go get you food. I understand that, but I just want to be by her side. I want to be with her. Listen, Diane would soon leave her. That would leave her by herself. I'm sorry. So, so what are we going to do now? Can you help? Help with what? Let me buy food, please. You know, take away something to nibble on. And a drink. I'll be fine. Phil, the way you're going about this whole thing, are you sure you're going to be alive by the time Naomi wakes up? If you help me get something to eat, I'll be alive. Please, help. And I really think you're taking this too far. I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember the first time I told you I love you? Hmm? Because I never forgot. Have you guys found me yet? Yeah, one hour. What's this one? Half time or? Yeah, they're just doing a recap of what happened the first time. Yeah. Oh no. Never. Oh. Don't worry about this now. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh. Okay. Now I've forgotten my friend. I knew it. I knew you'd forget. <laughs> Don't sorry. I stopped at the station on my way back. You what? Uh huh. That's you did? Funny. Truck. Uh, <laughs> no, God, no. I just love you, man. Look, I just think that you and I just, you know, is the right word epitome of compatibility? Like, you just complete me. How did you know I would mess this up? I know like, you. I know you. I know you. Don't you forget to feel it. I don't forget, I don't know. That's why I'm here, that's why you need me. Right? That's why I'm happiest when I'm with you. My life is just complete when I'm with you. Like, without you, I'm, I'm miserable. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not that bad, mom. I love you, Sha. You know. And I love you too. Come on. <laughs> I have the memory of that day etched in my heart. Thank you, baby. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for stopping me from making the worst mistake I could have made in my life because you are the one I want to be with. I'm looking at you and, and I'm asking myself, what was I thinking? Because I can't, I can't see the rest of my life without you and I... I miss you, Naomi. I miss you. You know, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> and I just have memories of how you and I have all, always spent the Yuletide period, you know, just at home cuddling and laughing and <laughs> And then me dancing, and then you laughing on my dance steps. I just, I just miss those moments, baby. It's Christmas again, and I, and I just want you back. Okay? Darling, if you can hear me, please, come back to me. And I promise you, you and I would get married like we have always planned to do. All right. Just give me a sign. Let me know something. Because I'll wait. 
I will wait for you. Hey, Bam. You okay? Girl, please, I, I need you to accompany me somewhere today. Yesterday is quite important. Oh, I'm at the hospital. I'm 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 here at the hospital. Can you meet? Oh, you meet me? Fine. Thank you. Okay. My son, when I heard that you called, I said that this young man has come back to his senses. <laughs> hey, young men of today, you're always too scared of commitment. You see, I, I told Somto that the, he, he will come now. Hmm? Just hold on. Let the young man tell us exactly why they are here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Philip, what exactly can we do for you? Um, we are here to talk about your daughter. My daughter. What what happened, Sonto? Yes, that's your blessing. Come on. We're here to see. Um, I'm sorry I have to get out of the show. You're all right to visit about 20 minutes. Okay. Thank you, Luke. Bye. Um, then. I'd like to ask your permission to... Tomorrow, Naomi. Oh, come on, Philip. You don't need my permission to do that. I mean, we all know she will say yes in a heartbeat. Hmm? But first, she needs to be conscious. I know she needs to wake up, but I can't wait. <laughs> now, me. <laughs> I know you're far away. But I know that you'll come back to me. Amen. I also believe that you can hear me. Because I love you so much. I am kneeling in front of you because I have made a wonderful decision on our behalf. And I'm asking that you agree to spend the rest of your life with me from this moment and forever. So I ask you, baby, without leaving anything to chance anymore, will you be my wife? Diane, say yes on her behalf. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes.
Thank you. Congratulations, Billy. What? I hope you want to finish my house again. Right? No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. So can I sit beside my wife, please, if you don't mind? Thank you. Thank you very much. Philip, I know I advised you to give her happy memories to help bring her back. But that's, but that's a few months ago. And since then, there hasn't been any improvement. So this is your marriage plans. I don't think it will make any difference. It will make a difference to me. I'm not doing it because I am hoping for anything special. I'm doing it because I love her. I'm doing it because I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And even if she doesn't wake up? I'll do it anyways. I'm going to get married to her and I'm going to respect her vows, or should I say, my vows to Naomi. <laughs> No, this is a bitter stream. Diana. <laughs> um, doctor, I understand your concerns. But you see, Philip is very, very daring. I know him quite well. And um, if marrying my sister would make him truly happy, you know, he has my blessings. And I know my sister should be very, very happy to do that as well. So why not? Thank you for your concern and understanding. Thank you. Okay, so when do you plan to have this ceremony? It will happen tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Bros, <laughs> your body they hurt too. Calm down now, why the rush? Do you understand that tomorrow is Christmas? I know. I am planning to get married in a hospital on a Christmas day. Absolutely. Hey, I believe you want to do that. Why would you get a priest that will help you with that on such short notice? <laughs> It's really, really been a while. This is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, thank you, my brother. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you again. <laughs> How's Loma doing? Loma is fine. Loma is fine. Just his fine children. They're fine and they're all doing well. Please. Hey, Loma. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sister Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. I was just in the neighborhood and I uh, just decided to drop by to check on you guys because uh, it's been a while I I'd seen you people since after your last counseling session and I decided to just stop by to see how you're doing. Thank you, Pastor. You have indeed done well. Thank you for dropping by. Um, it's just that uh, we have been really busy, you know, with the wedding plans and um, a few other things that we, let's just say that we'll have our hands in a lot of pies at the moment. Mostly work stuff. That's not good enough. That's not really good enough. You know, as children of God, you need to know that you get married soon. And in getting married, you, you need a solid foundation in Christ, you know, to build your marriage. You true, know? true, yeah. Pastor. Uh, true, because really, <laughs> I do not think um, any excuse we come up with can suffice for our absence, you know, from the house of God. But however, we will do better. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, we will. I promise. We will do better. Uh, we will be in church on Sunday, and then you know, from then on, we'll ensure that we're present as much as we can. Please make sure. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's good to know. That's good to know. So, how have you been? How has things been with well, you? Well, fine. As you can see, I'm happy, and then she's smiling, yeah. glowing. Yeah. We just cannot wait to be officially named an item. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I now pronounce you man and wife. Congrats to the couple! 
Christmas. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Thanks for cake. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. How are you? I'm good, Philip. And surprisingly, I'm happy for you. Listen, I... I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't the intention. I know, Philip. And I understand. You just love another. And she loves you very much as well. So I can live with that. I also pray that she wakes up soon so that you both can be happy together. I pray so too. Well, thank you yeah. very much. It's fine, it's okay. Um I just came back to return. Oh, no, come on. Don't do that. Keep it. Okay. I have nothing to do with it. Then just gift it to someone. Sell it if you want to. But I don't think you should you should sell it. I think you should keep it. Alright, Sunto. Listen, I want you to know that you earned this. Okay, you earned it. So I think you should keep it. Alright. I'm happy for you though. Thank you. Thank you very much for understanding. It's fine. Have a good life, Philip. You too. That's all done. You made this happen, you know, right? Sure. You made this happen. You got everyone together to ensure that you made today very special for me and Naomi. Thank you. <laughs> I'll never forget this one. Thank you. I know. Thank it's you. been my pleasure. It's been my pleasure. And uh, I appreciate it so much. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving my sister unconditionally. And I just believe that someday my sister will wake up to make her joy complete. I'm positive she will. And one thing, one thing, Philip. What? You are a good man. Sure you are. Thank you. Believe me when I say that. Thank and you. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> you know what? What? I need to give you guys a chance <laughs> to enjoy your first night together as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and the honeymoon begins now. <laughs> what can we possibly get up to? But it's fine. Yeah, sure. I'll call you. Take it easy. Of course. <laughs> so I guess it's just the two of us now, baby. Huh? <laughs> just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. <laughs> just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us, you and I. <laughs> it's our first night together as man and wife, baby. I know you can hear me. I know you will come around. But while I wait for you to come around, my heart is filled with satisfaction. Because I love you. And do you know it's Christmas? 
Yeah, it's Christmas. So it's also our first Christmas as man and wife. So what that means is every year, I owe you two gifts, right? One for Christmas and the other for our anniversary. Huh? It's going to be a beautiful journey, darling, I assure you. Because tonight marks the beginning of our forever together. Baby, your finger, your finger just moved. You're awake. You're awake. Nurse? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Wait. Yes, that, that, that's our ring. You, you, we're married now. Our wedding was today. We, we got married right here. And, and then you chose to... Okay. Okay. Yes, baby. I'm here. You came back. Yes, I came back for you. I came back for us. Okay. Never leave me again. I'll never leave you. I'm staying with you, I promise. I'm staying with you forever. Okay. 